Hey y'all, it's Crystal from Triple C Creations Crafting coming to you from the beautiful North Georgia mountains. Um, we had a nice dusting of snow this morning. Definitely still in the, the, the Christmas wintery spirit here. That just, we didn't have a, a lot of snow. Haven't had, haven't had a big snow this year. Didn't have any at Christmas, but you know, I'm still, I'm still thinking about snowflakes and, and bundling up hot chocolate and I've discovered hot tea lately. Put enough sugar in it and it's good. Um, so herbal tea, that's the guy, herbal tea. But anyway, so I have a small Timu haul and I'm going to show it to you. I'll tell you the prices and kind of why I picked these. And then I'm going to cut them apart and we'll demonstrate them. See how they, how they go, how the pieces go together. But I am very picky. And I've said this in other videos about my thinlets that I buy because I don't, I don't really have a good way of organizing them yet, um, but I have an idea, and so that'll be an upcoming video. But I have an idea about my thinlets, and I have changed the way I've organized them several times. Um, and two thinlets are, well, when you like go to buy them, they're expensive. Um, I really only bought thinlets at probably Tuesday morning, and then I've started buying, I bought a few from, I think I bought some from Ally Express. Uh, they were kind of, you know, iffy. Um, Bought some from the Dollar Tree. Again, you kind of, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Um, and this, these are from Timu. I think this may be my, I'm not sure if this is my first Timu haul or not. Um, but anyways, so if you watched my, um, one of my last videos, I did cutting up Christmas cards into gift tags or embellishments. So anything like that. Um, and honestly, I don't have very many uh, Christmas cards left because I have cut them all up. But in thinking about that, I've really been wanting to get some some more dies to use with that. Because I, if, if you watch the video, I really just used um, gift tags. I used my tag punch or tag die cut. So I've been thinking, and that kind of inspired what I what I bought today, or in this last order. So I'm gonna talk about those. Um, so this one is you've got a cup of hot chocolate. Really didn't get it for that though. I really got it for these mittens. So these are the mittens. These are the little cuffs. Um, I think that, I'm not sure what that is. I don't know, maybe a boggin? Huh, I might have to go back and look. And so it actually, I don't think it had a picture at all. I'll have to play with that on too. Oh, I bet it is. There, here's a boggin and then here's the, this is the cuff on the boggin. Oh, so I didn't even realize I had that. I was just, again, I was getting for the mittens. It's got a couple of more snowflakes. Hearts are always good. This is the string that joins the snowflake. And now that I see a boggin, those two pieces of the boggin, and then that's the um, the pom pom on the top. And then you got your coffee cup, which I think will also be a not only like for tags, but also um, I think just a good embellishment and to use all year long. I mean, people drink coffee all year long. Coffee is so in right now. Okay, so I got that one. And since coffee is so in right now, I got this one. Now, I have been using for a while, I do have an SVG file um, on my, with my silhouette that I cut out these um, coffee cups and I don't have any, they're not put together, but I have this solid piece and then the um, band that goes across the around the front and the lid. So this time I actually just cut out a bunch of this color lids and then I've been coloring them with my alcohol markers. So I've been doing these. I do have to run them through my silhouette, which is not a problem. And so I can, you know, I'll do, a, I'll do like a bunch at once, but I thought it would be much handier and more conducive to my scraps or my Christmas cards if I had a thinlet. So that was why I went looking for this one. And so I've got the, the large coffee cup and it has a small coffee cup, the lid, and then this my, this tiny coffee cup too, which I think is cute. And you know how Timu is, they don't give you a whole lot of descriptions. I think this is the band that goes around it. This is a, you've got a clear cup or a clear top. So like if you wanted to do, um, if you think about like the beverages with the foam, I think this is the foam and here's the straw. And then I'm not really sure what this is unless this is to go around it, but this is my thought, and again, it doesn't it doesn't like tell this. I think I can take this piece and this piece and make a cupcake. So I'm gonna try that. Um, it's got a tiny tag here. 
an oval I'm not sure what that is and it looks like a tiny snowflake and uh, honestly that looks like a pop a piece of popcorn I don't know uh, I don't know again and there's not even a sample um, except of I think the the coffee cup I think is the only thing that's given on the sample so but there's that um, and then I got this snow globe and there's a lot of snow globes on there I'll go back and give the prices if I don't forget. There's a lot of snow globes on there. Um, and then I got this one, I think because it was kind of plainer. But then after I got it, I was like, it's just a circle. Like literally, it's a circle. I probably could have done this with one of my circle dies. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Um, <laughs> I don't know, once I cut it, um, or this may, be, this may be a frame. Oh, this may cut double, so it cuts so this actually will cut out like a, a border. Okay. All right, so I feel better about buying it. And then this is your stand. These are some like snow drifts that you can do. But the reason I thought this, and, and again, I don't have very many, many left, but you get a lot of scenes. And I thought that a snow globe would be good to do um, if you have cards that are scenes. It would, it would kind of make sense to go on a snow globe. Um, and you can still make tags on them or you could use them as embellishments. So there's that. And then this is not Christmas theme, but we always need birthday. We make a, I make a lot of birthday cards. Um, and I thought this was, was cute and I will try it out. I'm actually, I may leave it together so that I can like cut one whole page at a time. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I'll regret cutting them apart and, and I'll just leave them together. I don't know. Uh, the only thing is like, I'm not even sure what that is. I may have to figure out what that is. But anyway, there's that. And then I got a couple of these. These I had to buy two of these. It was not a two-pack, but I had to buy two of these. So it's a corner rounder. And it's it doesn't work like my other corner rounder. Like I have this one. Um, but I like to keep one in my to-go bag when I travel. And so I thought, well, this one was cheap. And I'll tell you how much it is a minute. And it looked, I thought, well, maybe it's smaller. And it is quite a bit smaller. Because this is pretty thick. It is quite a bit smaller. And it has, I didn't know this when I got it, but it's handy. It has a, a thing that holds all your pieces because if I take this one, see, it's just open. So I have all those loose pieces. So this is definitely will be a good one. It does only have one size. Um, if I compare it to this, I think it'd be the four millimeter, but it works great. It just doesn't work the same. I don't know. It's, it's just, it's weird, but it works. I did, you can see I did this one. Um, I'll take one of these Christmas cards and just... So it's kind of like a hole punch. It's more like a hole punch. When I did that, it reminded me of a hole punch. So, okay. So those are the things I got. Now let me tell you the prices before I take a break and cut these apart and then we'll run them through the die cut and, and see how they do and see what we make with them. So this was a dollar three, but I did have to buy two of them. So, which is, I mean, I, I, you, if you're like me, you can always use these. Um, I'm actually going to give one to a friend and uh, that, that, I discovered loves to card make and I so I love giving her care packages so I'm gonna give one to her a dollar three though y'all that's awesome um okay this one and I really again I, I I pick my dies ones I think I will use a lot of and I think I can use this and I think this will be great for scraps which that may thinking about using it for scraps that would be a good reason to cut it apart to fit on on little scraps and they these things don't cut off so you won't have these tiny pieces. So I probably, I probably will cut them apart. So this was $2.78. Would not find it any cheaper, even at Tuesday morning. That's where most of my dies came from before um, I found them online. This one, the Snow Globe, was $2.23. So it's, I mean, it's cheap. It's, it is, it's just a Snow Globe, but I think I will get a lot of use out of it. Um, this one, which has a lot of different options, was $3.48, a little bit more, but still decent price. We would not get this any cheaper um, anywhere else, unless I found it at the thrift store maybe. This one was $3.19. So all of these, you know, my most expensive one was, was this one, still under $3.50. So I was really excited about all that. All right, so now I'm going to cut these apart. I'll get my die cut, um, die cutting machine. We'll pull out some scraps and we'll see how we do. Okay, so I've got all my um, things cut apart or snipped apart with my 
pliers. I have to um, just FYI, go ahead and go to Home Depot and just get you a big set because I ended up selling these for my husband. I have all the little craft ones. Um, I have some mini ones. I mean, they came from a tool store, but I finally just had to take my husband's big ones. Okay, so we're gonna do the candles first. And the way these are made is, so one is solid and the rest have holes in it. So you need a solid one. And well, I'm doing white. It wouldn't have to be white. So what, what, ooh, whatever background you wanted. I didn't think about that. And I did pull out, this is the back of a, a paper pad, but let's don't do that. Let's do, um, hmm. Let's do, let's see if I find any coordinating paper here. Yeah, put a yellow. How about yellow and blue? So whatever I do in the solid is gonna be in the back. And then the yellow will be up front. So I've got my little, I put my, um, since I had several sets here, I just put them in a little basket with my scraps that I was gonna use. Now, it would be handy if I had multiples of these, but I really don't think you would have to have that on every one of them. So, let's do another one. Let's do, let's just do, and these scraps are long enough that I could actually, I can probably get more than one out of them. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, math person me putting a puzzle together here. Okay, and I'm just really not sure what this is. Um, if somebody has an idea, please let me know. <laughs> I went back and looked where I bought these from on Timo, and they, I, I didn't even see that. So if you have an idea what that is, let me know. I should have just gone ahead and used the other candle. I got one, one candle I didn't use. Okay, let's see if these work. I haven't adjusted my sandwiches at all. This is the first time through. Oh, we do have lots of little pieces. It's all right, I got my trash can handy. Pull out my scraper. They punched out good. I mean, that was, and that, I'm, I'm done with that. I could, like, if I had a star punch or something handy, I could do that. I don't know. Eh. I've got plenty of stars and hearts and stuff like that. Mm, that didn't punch out. That did pretty good. So that was my solid, and then the rest of these. Ooh, you know what? With this, I may end up I may end up buying one of those little roller things. Um, where's my punching tool? I haven't bought one of those. I, I, snowflakes, it would be nice on. Um, what else? I've got some others that I've thought about it on. Snowflakes is the one that comes to mind. You know, I'm definitely thinking about snow today. It was like 12 degrees outside. This one didn't seem to, hmm, that one didn't cut as good. I wonder if it's the, which it is the straight part. I mean, I can use scissors. I'll have to watch that. But, you know, again, I, I did get a super deal. If that one doesn't work, it's not the end of the world and would still be a great deal. Hmm. Okay. So now, and I will just use my scraper. This is one of those uh, Dollar Tree scrapers out of the kitchen section, choppers and scrapers. Get all those little pieces off my mat. I use this for a lot of things. It's also good to rest your hot glue gun on. You can see my pieces of hot glue. So I rest my hot glue gun and if it melts, it rolls on or lays on there. Okay, so let's see. To put these together. Just line them up. Be a little bit of pieces to glue, but that's okay. But you know, like I said, I don't think you would have to have that background um, piece. So I don't think you would have to do that on every one of them. 
because I think they would be fine just putting straight onto a card, um, depending on your background. So let's just get a piece of white. Where's the piece of white I have here? It is. So if you just had a white card or a solid color card, I mean, I think they would be fine. And I know those blues do not match. I was not planning that to match. So uh, I think they would be fine like that. Now it does bother me that the, the flame is whatever color your paper is, but my thought was, and I'm not a, I'm not big into stamping and embossing. Um, I enjoy embossing. I think it's cool. But I wondered about putting some gold embossing powder on those flames. I think that would look really cool. So I'm gonna I'm probably gonna try that. But you know, I think those were definitely worth it. So I'm gonna put all that back in. I've got some more scraps here. So I'm gonna go through my scraps and try out my new dies. Definitely keep an eye on that striped one, see if I keep having issues with it. Okay, next one is let's do the let's do this one next. Let's do the snow glow one. So you know I got it because I was thinking of like the Christmas cards that have scenes and I have a lot of Christmas cards left because I've already used them all. Um I'll just tear this. Alright. It wouldn't fit in my mini cutter, it's too big. Now, I did figure out, and I did go back and look, so this will actually cut all the way around. So, I need, that will be my border. So, I will need a border. And, and let's just go ahead and do the bottom out of this, too, since my border is going to be out of this. And I have lots of white scraps. Um, again, this is the back of of a paper pad and if it's a even if it's a pad or a piece of paper you don't like usually the back of it's white I have a nice white circle to use for something else um, now I'm not sure about this and you know the, they don't come with any instructions so I'm gonna try to use this same thing so let's see what do I want to be in my snow globe do I want any of the snow I think I want to get I think I'm gonna do like that. You know what I could do is throw some candles on here while I'm doing this, but I won't right now. I'll go back and do that with my scraps later. Maybe some pretty blue candles or even a glitter one. All right, back on track, Crystal. All right, now there's, even, I mean, you could even use that as an embellishment if you want, but what I'm looking for is this right here now hmm so my thoughts were using this as a tag but that's two pieces now hmm. whoops that's not that's the thinlet there's the paper but that's what my snow globe would look like i think that is super cute um if you had oh, even just some like where you take your hole punch and you know, I don't have any right here, but this was just my brain thought, is um, putting just even some white hole punches around it for snowflakes to take a small snowflake embellishment. Let's see if I can reach one right here. It's not all punched out, um, but isn't that just cute? I had pulled out some other options too. Oh, there's my white that I had, um, but to, to do this in, you know, to do your, your outline, so. Don't know that it would work for a tag. Now I do have some just regular circle thinlets. I may have one that would be just the right size um, to put this on. So, but there's that. I still think it'll be cute. Oh, that's open. So I actually, hmm, I actually cut like all the way through there. But, all right. Again, I think that'll be cute for the the scenes that I have. And even if I have to put it mount it on something else, that'll be okay. I have tons of paper. <gasps> more paper that I don't know what to do with. Okay. Next. Let's do the Boggins and Mittens next. I can't really see my phone while I'm videoing, so I'll try to keep it in, in, in view. Okay, so, um, and this one came with the, the mug. So I put, this is, this is actually scrapped from my thank you note that somebody gave me, and I thought it would be cute as a coffee cup. Um, 
probably want to kind of keep it lined up. There's like a, it's kind of this pattern. Not that it's directional, but it is symmetric. This would make a cute bargain too. I could have slapped that bargain right on there too. Or gloves. And see, they even had writing on the back of this one. So I could not use this for a tag. But other than that, oh, that comes out too. How cute is that? I just, I'm, oh, I'm going to be using lots of scraps with this, I know. Like that. And it cut really good. Cut really good. I even have that if I wanted to keep it. But, um, <gasps> ooh, if you had a bunch of these, you could make a daisy. <sighs> Those scrap people. I'm one of them, but they're dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Okay. Um, the bargain I thought would be super cute in this Argyle. I think that's how you say it. Argyle. So, I'm going to do the Argyle on that. And let's just go ahead and do the gloves, too. Or the mittens. Um, you do want to kind of line them up. Let me kind of... This paper does have direction to it. Oh, well. They went sideways. Yep. And this was not a scrap, I will admit. This was from a, um, a Christmas 6x6 pad that I have. Cute. Oh, again, here's where that um, pokey thing would come in handy. So those don't come out. I think I think that's it. I think those are the only ones that come out. And look, they all came out of my, my mat, which is okay. I'm good with that. I'd actually rather that than them just be falling out and me or we have to pick them out. So there's that. There's my mittens. Um, let's clean that off so it doesn't mess up if we use that part again. Now I'm going to do I thought I would do the bands in this green. I don't think so. Let's just do white. Let's just do white. Pull out the scrap again. So I need now it is nice that this comes with a left and a right mitten and a left and a right cuff. So you don't have to run you can run it through once and get all your your pieces. Um, and I need the top of my bogging too. Ooh, I could let's just let's just go ahead and throw in some snowflakes here. Um and you know this is scrap. Let's go ahead and do the. Let's try this string. I don't have a lot of luck with these really super thin dies, so let's see how it goes. And you know, I might as well try them all. And let's just go ahead and stick this heart on there. And remember, this this was a back of a paper pad, not even a, like actual piece of paper you were meant to use. My son just came home with a car. Well, no, we went and got him a car. He's been out of a vehicle. He's fixing to be 18, though. He's a senior. And um, had mechanical issues with his last one, and he's wrecked one. But um, there's a point to my story. Just hang on. It is an older car. It's like a 91. And the windows are manual. And my husband and I were like, I can't wait to tell the kids to roll down the window. And they actually have to crank it down. So, Cute. All right, du -du -du. I'm gonna save that string for last. This is kind of my go-to tool if you've not noticed. Um, and it is, I don't think it's a crafting tool. I think it's actually a, I don't know if it's a real tool or if it's a, it almost looks handmade. Um, but it works better than any weeding tool that I have found. And I may be having to poke these out because like, this is thicker, this is, um, Thicker than typical cardstock. Ooh, that may not work for these snowflakes. We'll see. Oh, that actually worked really good. So whether it was the thick paper worked better with the snowflakes or if it is um, the dies that are really good. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how this did. What cut? And there's the string. Wow. Okay, I'm pretty impressed with that. So let's see what they look like if we put them together. 
We found a piece. Okay, so there's that. And there's your your boggin. And your now so so this is made, so there's the boggin. I feel like that. I don't know. I like that better. I think it's supposed to be like that. That's kind of big, though. That seems kind of big. Um, there's my mittens. Oh, there's my boggin. The top of my boggin. I need to put my string in here to hold my mittens together. And that. And there's that. Oh, and I got snowflakes. I have snowflakes. And a little heart. So, very cute. Um, I really like this. I'm pleased with my purchase. I think I made a good selection. I think I can use up scraps, little pieces, and snowflakes are definitely good for that. Um, I will probably end up having so many white snowflakes that I'll have to do some kind of craft with my kids next year at school <laughs> with snowflakes, uh, but that's okay. So, all right, let's put that one up. And the last one was, was like the one I was most excited about was the coffee one. No, yeah, the coffee one. This one had a coffee cup too, but the like to-go cup. Okay, so, and I went back and looked at this one. Yeah, I told you this has a lot of pieces. So, it has two sizes, actually three, I will say three sizes of coffee cups. So, um, a large one, a short one, and then this tiny one. And it, it was a stamp set you could have got with it. I did not get the stamp set. I'm not a huge stamper. Um, it has this, which I think is the, the piece that goes around it. Um, I'm hoping that would work for both of them. Then it has this piece. This is the one, and it might it might work for that. I don't know. Or, or maybe maybe it's meant to go on the bottom. I don't know. I guess some have, have that extra piece at the bottom, but I, just, I don't know. Um, it has, oh, here's the top the topper the top oh and it, oh it don't look like it's connected i'd really like for it to be connected um we'll see about that it has a straw if you want to do a straw it has the clear lid um that you could do and it has the whipped cream that you can put on it now this is what i thought i could end up using actually as a cupcake and i saw nothing about that online the only thing they showed on the where I bought this on Timu was this is a coffee cup with this and I think this oval with a sentiment that was in a stamp set stamped on it that was I think that was pretty much it um, so I think I can use this as a cupcake so I'm like you know two for and these do not necessarily have to be Christmassy so I am going to start out with a with a Christmassy one we're going to do a Christmas Christmas cup and this was a piece that was it's already been cut and used for something else so this is kind of a scrap it doesn't really have a direction so you, you can you know turn these to to fit them in any which way hmm anything else i want to put in here i think that's good for now do, 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 do. Some reason I have the urge to like whistle or sing. I've been working on the railroad every time I turn this. All right, so there's my two cups. Um, now I'm going to do. I'm going to do the front and the wrapper out of this craft. And then we'll put it together. not craft y'all it was gold <laughs> but that's okay that's okay um oh it does it does overlap just a little that loop lip right there it overlaps just a little um so it works that is that's kind of a that's kind of big for that one maybe that one don't even need don't even need that maybe instead it needs like an accent on the front um like maybe just you know something not really a snowflake, probably. 
I mean, not, not a white snowflake, but maybe that. So, I mean, you could you could do it. It would go all. It would just no piece. Just go all the way bottom. Unless you uh, no, nope, that don't work either. So, you just lose a lot of your paper that you just cut. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Either way, either way. Let's see the the big one though. So here's the big one. that fits and that fits and let's compare it to the ones I've been making uh, so there's the ones I've been cutting on my, on my silhouette and they're just about the same size and this was I've resized this one multiple times um, but just about the same size I wonder if that would fit on that oh it would so like if I wanted to cut a whole page using my my silhouette if I had a whole page but again the my thing with die cuts is it's a good way to use my scraps because I can I can't use um, scraps as much on my silhouette. Um, but okay, there's that and my gold that I thought was cardstock or craft paper. Now I'm gonna do a non-Christmas one, and I'm going to do the cupcake or what I'm I'm gonna use it as a cupcake. So I'm gonna use this floral as the cupcake and. Is that wide enough? Yep, that is wide enough. And again, we always need birthday stuff. So thinking about like the birthday candles, um, we always need lots of that. So this is definitely something I can see using a lot of my scraps up with. And I think that is super cute. That is, I mean, that if it was not made for this, it really worked out well making a cupcake. Now, um, so I did figure out what. Okay, so the oval there was a sentiment that you could that fit to stamp here, and you would put it on the the front of your coffee cup. Um, I forget what it said, something about coffee. Again, I didn't get the the stamp set. The then there's this little bee tag, which I just don't know that I'm gonna, I would use that. I still never figured out what this was. To me, it looked, I thought it was a snowman. Um, I, I think it's actually supposed to be a heart. There was a couple of tiny heart stamps. I think that was supposed to be a heart, but I'm not sure what you would do with it. Um, this, it, to me, it looks like popcorn, and I may use it as popcorn if I ever use it. Um, but it actually, the stamp had three um, three coffee beans in it, and then you you cut it out with with this. But uh, so, but I'm really pleased with my Timu haul. Um, I know it's not very big, but I am super picky, and I was everything seemed to work great. And now I'm going to play. So happy crafting.